Sports back with you from the CDGA studio here at the Chicago Golf Show. And we're joined now by Gary D'Amato, a longtime golf journalist based from Wisconsin, current, based in Wisconsin rather, currently now working with Wisconsin.golf. Uh, right. Certainly one of the, the foremost experts on, on golf here in the Midwest. So Gary, thank you for taking the time to come it's by. My pleasure. Nice show. A lot of people here. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Um, so, you know, Wisconsin, always uh, a relevant spot in the golf industry with the, the large number of courses there uh, and the prestigious events that are that are usually there. And this year, of course, the Ryder Cup coming to, uh, to Whistling Straits, which I'm sure has everybody uh, in that state very excited. It's really a big year. Ryder Cup, um, the state Ams play at Milwaukee Country Club, which is a great 100-year-old uh, golf course. Uh, of course, we've had PGA Championships and U.S. Women's Opens. You know, when I started covering golf, for another newspaper um, in the mid 80s i never would have dreamed that wisconsin would become what it's become in terms of great golf courses resorts and the number of championships that have come to our state yeah, yeah absolutely and i know that you know with all the new courses that are being built of course there's sand valley aaron hills whistling right. straits and, and all the cooler courses uh wisconsin is even trying to position itself as kind of an international golf destination for people you know who may be coming over from the likes of england or europe or things like that Absolutely. Uh, I've got a friend who runs Golf Trips Wisconsin, and he had a number of golf tour operators in from China, Europe, uh, all over the world, basically, South America, and they played Century World, Sand Valley, Aaron Hills, the course at Kohler, and they had knew nothing about Wisconsin golf, and to a man or, and a woman, they all said that we're going to go back to our countries and promote Wisconsin golf, so I think we're going to start seeing a lot more international influx of golfers, you know, golf groups, groups of 8, 10, 20 guys. Uh, coming to our state to play golf from all over the world. Yeah. What is it about the state that you think lends itself to having these world-class facilities built and then you know, providing a good experience for all these individuals when they come? Well, it's not winter, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's a great, you know, it's, it's a six, seven-month golf season, but the course conditions in the middle of summer, I mean, you can't find better conditions anywhere. The bent grass, the greens are, are just perfect. Um, it's just a, a great place to come and visit. Sand Valley is kind of up in the middle of nowhere in the northern part of our state, but uh, you think you're in Montana when you're on those golf courses. It just doesn't look like Wisconsin, but there's a lot of reasons to come to Wisconsin and play golf, for sure. Uh, now, how about you personally? I'm sure over the years you've, you've kind of been, been everywhere pretty much, so what are some of your personal favorites in your home state? Well, I, I love Sand Valley. I mean, I love all the big courses of the resorts that everyone knows about, Aaron Hills, the Kohler Courses, Whistling Straits. Uh, but there's some great courses that are maybe one small level under those that a lot of people don't know about. There's a great course in Green Lake, Wisconsin called Lasonia, Lasonia Lynx. It was uh, designed by uh, Langford and Moreau, and it's sort of uh, one of the first inland Lynx courses in America. And it's just, it's a fantastic place to play golf. And there's courses like that all over our state that a lot of people really don't know about. I know people here in Illinois and in the Chicago district, very fortunate to be, you know, just south of the border and a quick, you know, couple hour drive from a lot of those places. And, you know, we certainly enjoy reading about and learning about all the places from the likes of yourself. So um, keep up the great work and thank you very much for taking the time to uh, stop by our booth today. Thanks for having me, Casey. Appreciate it.